Now, the first one uh, talks about the Deputy Minister for Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, Mrs. Jifa Gomashi. Now, she's calling for the arrest of actors in the entertainment industry who expose themselves indiscriminately. While blaming bad parenting for the nudity in the industry, she urged law enforcers to act appropriately. Speaking to the Daily Heritage in an interview, she said the style of parenting today has changed a lot, which has allowed parents to accept foreign culture without questioning its value and importance to their children. Uh, Jifa Gomashi said law enforcers need to start arresting people for indecent exposure at wrong places like they did to the musician Weiser Grade to serve as a deterrent to others. Now she said when parents see their children half naked in music videos they fail to question them about the threats in displaying their body to the world. She added and I quote if they had a strong foundation it would be very hard for them to be a photo to be a photocopy of what others are doing, end of quote. She lamented that the family structure is breaking down and family values are not what they used to be. And uh, the only way it can be corrected is to strengthen the family, which will have parents playing the role as mandated. All right, so that's our first story for today. I don't know what you ladies think about it, but for me, I think, I mean, I can't help but agree um, with her on especially with the aspect of indecent exposure. And I say this because, um, for instance, last Christmas, mm. City FM organized a concert. <laughs> Weiser came to perform a Kikimi. He exposed his manhood. A lot of people, when, when you post, when um, just yesterday, the, a court actually called, like, hold him in for mm. arrest. They, they issued a warrant for his arrest. Oh, wow. Yes. And um, when I posted it on social media, there were a lot of people who came to comment and said, he hasn't done anything wrong. All he did was show his what that was. And, and, but it's, and they always bring one love in, right? Yeah, you know, and it's like, it's actually, you're not supposed to do that. Mm. Indecent exposure mm. is a crime. And that's why mm. you can't just have sex in public. Mm. you know and, and 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 things that are related on that on that same level um so yeah i mean for me in terms of music videos what people do i think it at the end of the day it does boil down to the individual some has to be some of the responsibility i guess also relies or can be given to the parents because mm. depending on your upbringing there's some things that you will never actually depart from if it's not a part of you. And I can use myself an ex as an example, but um, I, I don't know what you guys think, really. Well, I, I agree with the indecent exposure, mm. correct. But the part that she's um, saying that, um, she said, when parents see their children half naked in music videos, they fail to question them about the threats in displaying their body to the world. What is half naked? Mm. Is it wearing a bikini in a video? Is it a mm. short skirt? Is mm. it um, hot pants? Mm. It's all part of an act. There's some things that we wear for performance sake, but it's not necessarily that every day we're wearing hot pants walking up and down. Mm. It's because I have a show or I'm performing, so I would wear something mm. like that. So with that, I don't quite agree. Okay. Because it's part of somebody's It's part brand. of an act, you say? Sort an of act or, or, or a brand. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Like some, some people's brands are... are suggestive sexual mm -hmm. glamorous mm -hmm. yeah, that's okay. just how their brand is and that's why they have so many fans some uh, people are different I, 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 get, I music totally, videos yeah no, they're not necessarily music videos <laughs> some that's what i'm saying i want to understand that, what she means, means by, by i felt i was also pretty kind of vague i agree and disagree i agree in a sense movies for instance if nudity is part of uh, a scene of the scene or of the plot, mm -hmm. what will push it forward i will trust that it, it has to be because it's art and we don't want to censure art too as yeah. well but i'll trust it with only directors like this is me also being biased mm. with shelly from paul manso but there's no way in hell i'm going to trust nudity with other directors like uh the, the one who directed yeah. what's yeah. fuck and all of those movies <laughs> that one is pure exploitation yeah. you mm. know so in this sense i will feel not it's not even uh the actors you should arrest it's the directors um and 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 producers who actually even uh get these young actors telling them to strip or oh, do this and then we'll give you a bigger role because mm. that always happens too you know in that sense but where nudity is needed with a good movie director we trust, like Shirley from Port Manso or Leila Jansi. You know she's not doing it for gratification. It's part of Story. the, yeah. to drive the plot. But, but based on what though, are you mm. comparing the two? The two, yeah. I mean, can which can one? You mean movies? For hot, for hot, yeah, you know, and, that's what I'm saying, I'm biased. Yeah. I will trust Shirley, but I won't trust, because, you, but you can tell where certain movies just, they strip them just because they wanted 
some gratification. Really? You can oh, you can tell so easily where you know that oh, they didn't need to be nude here yeah, or was, need to do that, but they did that. Movie, you know, I think it was produced by Salam like many years ago, mm. and the girls were just it had uh, Jackie up here and some other people. I can't remember the other people, but the scene was they were just in the living room talking, talking, and, and they, they were, were half Brazil. naked. It like, didn't, oh, yeah. It, I so I that way you can easily tell it was put there it because it. yeah, they want to uh, catch attention or use basically use the actors or actresses so that way you can tell is a mm. is gratification but where it's is tied to a plot mm. of a story yeah. okay let me ask you can tell, yeah. so Chantel, for yeah. instance, you're the one who was talking about this would you um and you featured in some music videos yeah um would you say wear a bikini and a hot it hot pants it depends on what if the role if it's a beach scene mm. i may not wear like a, a brazilian it's not really it has to be a, like she said it has to be for the for, story for the plot mm. so it depends for on the, the plot where i get it yeah the so plot i mean it. in the video with sarko dear and jay so i had to wear a nightgown because it was a night bed bed scene mm. do you understand it was pajamas or a nighty i went for a nighty but it's also with performers like someone yeah. like easy i know when she performs she likes to wear hot crop pants stuff, and yeah. you know crop tops and i'm not gonna say and it oh, goes with the it goes with her swag of the style exactly you know, that the kind brand of i'm not gonna say oh we should arrest her hmm. no but that's the that's so you so get a nudity generally like you said indecent exposure it's yes, it's not right out your but then where it comes to art you know, you won't want to also censure. But that's the thing, that's where it gets dicey that, like, which well, artist you, would I trust yes, or not? Yeah. But sometimes you can just see it, like, oh, he didn't need to do this, but he had to strip his actresses. Was, and all the time, as a woman's buddies, they totally want to focus on, you know? Like it's it? always what that, you know, exploitation. Wearing a vest and you see his six packs, isn't that nudity? <laughs> you know, you know? <laughs> no, I was anyway. producing, um, what was I doing? I was producing this show and we were talking about. Um, people that wear corsets, body shapers, and mm. people that have done liposuction. Mm. And the lady had this low cut dress, and she was very busty. She was probably like, you know, like your size. Oh, well, you <laughs> had to draw and attention. Of course, yeah, I feel objectified right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. 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 You have a she lot was, going on. She was extremely <laughs> busty. And we were recording, and it was, a, it was a program for some Nigerian persons. And they're like, she can't sit on my show exposing her breasts. Oh wow! And I'm like, oh, but it's because she's busty. That's why, you know. It's like no, 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 no. She yeah. has to cover it up. Mm -hmm. So I said to it's the lady, I'm really sorry, but the mm. executive producer says, you know, you have to cover it. And she says, well, this is how my body is. After I've done the liposuction, it's held everything in, and <laughs> now she can't it help comes it. out. She, says she can't help it. There's nothing she can do. Oh. She doesn't have anything else to wear. Yeah. So we had to make the host say it in the show that, um, for those at home wondering, um, the ladies looking quite busty because the body sculpting it sculpts your body and oh, wow. all your body enhances and you know um, yeah okay <laughs> I don't know, man.